Hi, you winners, and welcome to another Patreon Q&A. So this is for those of you that were from October 1st, my elbow, um, and I will be doing November's shortly, so that way I'm all caught up, all caught up for December, so I'm excited. But I know one of you were not able to get back to me, uh, POC, make sure that you get back to me, and I will add it into the next one. So... I'm going to start off with the first Q&A, and this is, by the way, for Patreon uh, tier for $10, I believe, and you also get into a Discord, and you also get to see thumbnails ahead of time whenever I'm able to post them, and you get to be a part of the Discord community for the $1 tier, so it's just uh, whatever you guys want to do, but for the $10, you also get to ask anything you want or have me talk about any topic you want, and that's what this video is, so... Well, let's get started. So, the first question is from Chris. So, he asks, have you ever played any card games like Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, or Pokemon, etc.? I have. Now, I probably understand Magic the Gathering the most, which is really weird, because I should really understand Pokemon more, but I didn't play it enough. Um, I never played Yu-Gi-Oh, but a lot of my friends did for a short time. And then they switched to Magic the Gathering. Me and River are the only ones who really know how to play Pokemon. Uh, some others do, but River and I actually actively learned for a couple of weeks, and then we kind of stopped. <laughs> so there's that. Um, because no one was playing it, everyone was playing Magic the Gathering. So we ended up playing a lot of Magic the Gathering. I am bad at it. Oh, no. I am bad at it, but I do enjoy playing it, or I especially love doing, like, create your own quick deck and, like, draft type stuff, but we do a draft amongst our friends, like, River will buy a fat pack, and then we'll just do a draft amongst ourselves, so that's pretty much the extent, and usually I'm like, what does this mean? I may not have this card, it's not in my hand. But what does it mean? Because <laughs> I don't, I, I don't understand some of the terms. Um, because you really have to be really into it to start knowing everything about it, uh, or at least all the terms or whatnot. But I know the basics, like what trample is, like power to, um, not defense. Help me out here. So Shaga <laughs> told me because I couldn't remember power and toughness. But like I know what those numbers mean, even if I couldn't remember the term. Uh, I know things like vigilance and flying and reach and all that stuff. Like I know, I know basics. But when things are getting really complicated, like they introduced vehicles or something, and I'm like, <coughs> so. Also, shy guy sick. So if you're coughing in the background, that's why. But yeah. So pretty much, Magic the Gathering is what I'm most practiced in. But I have a shit ton of cards in Pokemon because I love collecting the cards. I love art and I love all of the various art. That's why I liked Magic the Gathering at first because it was just like, ooh, pretty. Um, but Pokemon's more simple, something I could do. Whereas Magic the Gathering's like, Steve Argyle is bae, but I'm never going to get to that level. <laughs> Not that I'm never, but it's going to take a long time. So pretty much I was attracted to the art and now I'm playing the game. So that is from Chris. Then from Dustin, Dustin asks a really long, complicated question that I will say out loud, but he doesn't expect me to answer it. I will answer it, but it's not going to be a serious answer. Uh, if a train leaves San Diego traveling east at a speed of 28 coconuts per swallow and it does not pass go or collect $200, then what is the sound that ice cream makes? I must say squish because that was the final question. <laughs> But I have no idea otherwise what that's supposed to mean. But his real question is, Thanksgiving is coming. What does your Thanksgiving normally consist of? And what part is your favorite part of Thanksgiving? Uh, it's okay to answer food. So I will say that my Thanksgiving normally consists of split family. Um, Shy Guy usually goes to his family and then I go to mine. Although this year, now that we're married... <laughs> Uh, I will be going to one of his family members' Thanksgivings because they have it a Sunday before, so that makes it a lot easier. But my family always does Thanksgiving on the Thanksgiving day, and I have my mom's side and my dad's side. Uh, my dad's side this year is doing Black Friday, luckily, so I don't have to worry about going between the two, but I know Shy Guy is probably working, and then River is able to do one of them, so I just drag River with me. But we... 
usually, at least from my mom's side, recently we've been going to a restaurant that cooks a Thanksgiving dinner for Thanksgiving. Um, last year we ended up waiting like two and a half hours and it sucked ass. So this year we're going at noon. <laughs> we are having like lunch dinner, <laughs> dinner. Um, but it is delicious food, but you all have to vote. So all of the family has to agree because you can only pick two of the three meat options and uh, same with like appetizers and desserts and stuff. And not everyone is gets sappy, gets very happy at the end. Um, because last year there was a, a few unhappy campers because we didn't get the fish option. <laughs> but I didn't like it. But I, I think I only voted for one thing for each thing because I was like, I don't care as long as I have one thing to eat. I don't necessarily care if I need both or whatever. Um, because I think it was like chicken, salmon, and beef were the three options for meat, and you can only have two. So, um, But this place is super delicious. And then for my dad's side, my grandmas and my dad and my aunt usually help cook Thanksgiving dinner, and then we all have it. Um, Black Recently, it's been Black Friday. It used to be on Thanksgiving Day. And we all just converse uh, and then at, start watching TV usually and talking about whatever. Literally shooting the shit, if you guys know what that means. It's just whatever the fuck. So, yeah. I, I like Thanksgiving a lot in the sense of family gatherings and food. I will say I do really like the food. My favorite part, the food's up there. It's not my favorite thing mostly because I tend to overeat to the point of not feeling good. Um, last year specifically... On Thanksgiving Day, I ate so much that that night I ended up hurling it all, which was great. And at two in the morning, so it, it was something. <laughs> and uh, then on Christmas Eve, I believe, I ate so much. And that night I also hurled it all. So I don't know if my body just didn't like big meals last year. And I'm really hoping that's not a thing this year. But I'm going to watch and make sure that I know when I'm full. Because apparently I didn't know last year. <laughs> but I do love the food. And the other thing about Thanksgiving that I do love, just because it exists, is Black Friday. I know that's not Thanksgiving, but it's due to Thanksgiving and also due to American culture. But I really like that Black Friday because shops are open when I'm awake, which is rare. Because I'm always awake really late at night. But freaking the mall isn't and the stores aren't so i really like just wandering around we don't ever get anything and we don't we don't go in the lines we unless there's one thing particularly we want i've only done that once and it wasn't even that long of a line and i was sitting there for like an hour but i'll never usually wait in a line it's we go an hour or two after Black Friday has started and we just wander around and look at what's on sale and what's left. <laughs> we look at the carnage and the bodies on the floor of the products that people have wrecked. So pretty much that is my highlight of Thanksgiving break, um, just because it's really it feels like another world in a weird way because no, nothing's normally open that late. So. I appreciate that, but it seems like shops are starting to close down early and like close at midnight or one in the morning, which I get, but it also just sucks because it's like, well, man, now it's like nothing's open again. And it's just like a slight bit later, but then I'm always out on Thanksgiving late. So then I'm not able to spend as much time going Black Friday shopping, <sighs> but that's fine. But that's, that's pretty much Thanksgiving for me. And then the next person is Vic. So Vic asks, and you are not getting nosy, I promise. Um, I'll let you know if you're getting noisy, uh, noisy, nosy for any of you that do ask questions. But you <coughs> asked, how do you work on your YouTube content and personal job? Um, I mean, on a daily basis, do you work every day, wake up early? What time do you come back home? Do you record videos and edit each day? Do you have enough time left for yourself? Being curious. So, and I'll answer the last question that's unrelated after that. So pretty much, I do have a full-time job. Uh, for those that don't know, I work Monday through Friday. It used to be eight to 4.30, um, but because my boss has been really helpful and knows that I want to try and push more towards YouTube and spend more time on YouTube, I now go home at 
but it is a 40 minute commute one way. So I go 40 minutes, get there at eight, come back or leave at 3.30, 40 minutes back home. So it's still a pretty long day, even though I've cut it an hour. Uh, and a lot of this, at least last week and the week before, it was a lot of staying an hour later. So it ended up being like that never happened. <laughs> um, but I do juggle YouTube and a personal job. I'm a little crazy. People call me crazy. I'm just basically I'm doing this in hopes that this will pay off in the end and I can just focus on YouTube. I just hit my microphone. Um, that would be amazing and that would be an ultimate goal, but that is something that I need to work on in order to get there. And I'm clearly type A. I would not be uploading two videos a day on top of a full-time job, on top of two significant others, on top of all my friends and family, on top of all the new shit that happens in my life all the time that's just like, oh hey, and on top of commissions that I also do for art. Yeah, I have a lot going on in my life. So. How do I do it? I don't know. I think I just do it. <laughs> I probably would have called myself crazy last year if I had seen what I'm doing this year um, because I was finding it difficult last year to even do one video a day on top of a full-time job. But that was also a really hard year. So I don't know if that's really something I can compare to. Right now, I guess it's more, it's less difficult. Hi. You guys might see the little surprise I have. Oh, never mind. It ran away. So maybe it'll come back. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. But basically, I have played a lot of short games recently, whereas last year it was a lot of playthroughs. And I didn't have the new switch in my schedule of here's a couple of short one shots. Here's like just a spotlight. Here's this. Here's that. Just like short little things. Uh, so that way I'm able to do two videos a day. Whereas last year it was a lot of here's a 40 minute video that I've highly edited of Mass Effect or Tomb Raider or something like that. So <coughs> I that's probably why I have so much time and why I get a little stressed out when I'm starting to do longer parts or long one shots. It's like this is a lot of work right now. So there's that. I am juggling a lot now, and that is true, but I also have a lot of understanding people in my life who try to support me and know that I am working really hard to make it so that way I'll have more time in the future, even though I have less time now. I also do try to juggle and sit down and watch stuff with Shy Guy or spend time with River by going out places because I know that's what River likes, whereas Shy Guy really likes to sit down and watch a show. Like, we watched all of season one and two of Gallivant, which was amazing. But yeah, like, we pretty much are trying to spend time with each other and make sure there's, like, a night or a day that we can spend so that way I am still able to spend time with them and do work at, like as much as I can um, because ultimately honestly YouTube would be amazing in the sense of I'd be home I'd able to be able to work while they're working so I wouldn't have to worry about being working while they're working or while they're here and then they're working while I'm here it ends up getting really complicated and then we never see each other so it would just be the best thing on top of that I would get to do more for you guys. I would get to edit videos uh, even more, make them so much more interesting, uh, try to throw in some little like snippets here or cut them a lot more so that way it's not so much backtracking, all that shit. But right now I'm juggling so much that I can only do so much. Um, that's why my videos are kind of raw other than when I try to take up my face for a cutscene if I'm recording it in a way that can't. OBS does not allow me to if I have to record game with OBS. But other than that, I pretty much, like I said, Monday through Friday, 8 to 3.30, but it's 40 minute commute. And then I uh, record and video, or I don't record every day. I tend to record in groupings. So I'll record like three games, usually max, sometimes four um in one night and that'll be <laughs> for the next few days depending on if that maybe the game had multiple parts or maybe it's one shots um live streams really help sometimes with the cushion of here's a second video and then uh 
with Winning Wednesdays, I tend to do either the day of the day before, but I always try to edit the night before. I edit every day almost. Pretty much every day I edit two videos for the next day. So that's what I tend to do is right before I go to bed, I'll edit and upload one video. And then while that one's uploading, I'll start editing the next one and then upload that one afterward and schedule them for the next day so they can go like go up at five and then go up at six. If I central standard time, if I have the ability, like with this week being as hectic as it's been for very obvious reasons, as my video yesterday explained, I have not been able to schedule or edit a video for today because I have nothing recorded now. <laughs> like I'm literally as far as I have recorded. So this is going up a little later today. And then I will be edit or recording tonight because I have tomorrow off. So I will be able to catch up a little bit and then I'll be live streaming even longer tomorrow, I think. And that'll create even more videos for you guys. So I'm excited for that. And I'm excited for when I have time off, I'm usually like, oh, I can record or I can live stream even more. Not, oh, I can go and like relax. <laughs> That's not what I tend to think, which is really weird and sad. Um, so when you ask, do you have enough time left for yourself? Not much, <laughs> quite honestly. I've never really by myself, but I've always been okay with that. Um, there are rare times where I do need time by myself. Um, and I'll be a little stressed out or have a lot of anxiety if I don't get that time, but it's rare because I've been an only child my whole life up until my little sister came into my life, but I was 20, about 20 years old when she did. Um, so I'm used to being alone and I don't like that feeling because it's like, I've been alone all my life. I don't need to be alone anymore. I like, I can have everyone near me and I'm okay. Um, so that's why I'm totally like always around shy guy or river or work or YouTube friends or what have you. I, I did YouTube so that way I would, would be okay with being alone, which I am because I used to have a hard time being alone, but yeah, I don't necessarily need as much time for myself as most people do. Uh, but that's probably also why I'm able to do so much stuff. <laughs> but yeah. And then your last question was, is that your real hair color? N no. And what I'm going to say is also what you see is not what it looks. And the reason I say that, if that made sense, um, I do dye my hair. This is my real hair color right here. But all of this, I dye red, like orange red, redhead red, basically. And it goes really bright for the first couple days, and then it fades a shit ton. Now, what you guys see in the webcam right now is what it looks like the first few days, which on camera looks vibrant as fuck, and it doesn't look that way in real life. I will show you guys if I can while it's recording, and I believe I can because I've done it on live stream. I will try to show you guys what my hair actually looks like without this because I wish I wish it constantly looked this bright but it is a lot browner looking than it looks on camera the reason I have to have it this bright and this orange <laughs> is because the blue screen works best that way if I do and I showed this live on live stream if I start lowering the contrast that makes everything so colorful if I lower that the blue screen stops being so blue screen and it starts showing up and that's not good. So I'm not trying to lie to you guys about my hair being so bright orange. It's not actually that bright orange. I just don't really have a choice, but I'm gonna try and show you guys what it looks like. I'm gonna adjust it. Okay, so I'm adjusting a little bit. Everything's really blue now, right? I would say maybe this is closer. Um, I'd say this is pretty close to my hair color. Sorry if that's disappointing. It's not as dull as this is making it look because it's so blue. Um, but yeah, I would say it's more closer to this brown. Um, you guys see it in pictures a lot of the time if I tweet pictures. Um, but otherwise, yeah, like as much as I really want it to look like this, this is only so that way blue screen is my friend. So let's put it back. And yeah, so that is Vic's questions. And I believe that's it for the people who have contacted me yes on patreon so 
one last one that contacted me on Twitter is Grev. So Grev says, uh, topic is creativity. And then the questions, where do you find inspiration to create, as in drawing, etc.? cetera? Um, pretty much, I'm, I have a hard time being an artist. I love being an artist. I have a hard time with it. I have a really hard time finding inspiration in general and motivating myself to create. I say that because I probably haven't created something for myself in a year, um, which as an artist is kind of starving. <laughs> um, I just haven't had time. Uh, I do a lot of, not a lot of commissions, but I do as many as I can. Specifically, I do a lot of character drawings for one person and for their book. So I do end up spending a lot of time doing that. And then I end up getting tired and I don't end up having time to work on my own stuff. I end up editing or recording instead. Bless you. So I don't end up having as much time as I would like for my own drawings. Uh, I do get disappointed sometimes that I have not grown as an artist in a long time because I haven't been able to draw pretty much since college or a little after college. Um, I think a year after college I was able to still draw, but then once I got this full-time job I've pretty much pushed it to the wayside. I've tried things here and there, uh, adoptables or um, fan art, but it's very, very rare and far between. So, unfortunately, my creativity block is a little strong, and uh, pretty much my artist block is perpetual. But I'm hoping if I eventually am able to do YouTube full time, I could start dabbling a little more in art. I would love to have that additional time to do stuff for me or to do stuff that means something to me. Like, I constantly have ideas, and you ask what inspiration is to create. <laughs> I just saw the cats. That was adorable. Sorry. Um, but pretty much I just got inspired today to start making art for some stuff I believe in because I, I have a hard time talking about what I believe in or what's really important to me because I'm afraid of stirring the pot. I don't like upsetting people. So I don't tend to create controversial things or I don't tend to say them because I'm really bad with my words, as you guys know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not the best with them. I say and when I say not the best, I don't mean communication. I've very I very much practice myself in communication. Um, it's more words I use. My choice of words are not the best and my knowledge of topics is very minimal in certain areas because of my dyslexia so I don't read as much as a lot of people do so I don't tend to know what a certain word means or I'm looking for a word that's going to help me better describe what I want to say but I can't pull it out of my brain because I don't know what's better you know what I mean I don't, that even kind of proves that I have no idea how to say something. But to draw it, I do have ideas and I do want to draw them, but I don't have the time to develop them. <laughs> so, because uh, honestly, this past week with the election and stuff, I have been thinking, contemplating certain artistic things in my head, but then I feel guilty for wanting to do those things. And the reason I say guilty is because then I'm like, oh, I should be working on recording or I should be working on commission or editing or something. I shouldn't be doing this because it's not productive in any way. So it's like I end up cock blocking myself on art, basically. Um, but yeah, so like things that are important to me. I did do an entire series on eating disorders because that's really important to me. I did an entire series on trying to pull meaning out of pictures that I've put no meaning in or a shit ton of meaning in just to confuse people because I was sick of people trying to pull meaning from artists' paintings and saying this is right and anything else is wrong. It was just pissing me off. So I just created an entire series on here's a bunch of meaning, but I don't have a certain purpose for it. Do whatever you want with it. And that pissed off a lot of people. It was great. But that meant something to me. So I tend to do my, my inspiration or creation um, of creativity if I do something for myself, tends to be derived from my stubbornness and my need 
to make a point, basically. I, I have a need to make a point, which is a lot of artists, I think, in my opinion. It's, they create because they want to make a point or they just really want to create something cute or something that means a lot to them. So, um, but your other thing was, are there any genres of fiction or real life things that inspire your work? So pretty much like I was saying, um, it's more topics that tend to influence my actual works of art, but I have had fan art here and there. Um, the problem is, is I get kind of intimidated by fan art um, or drawing something that's fiction because I'm like, it doesn't look like the drawing. Like I, I can't draw Pokemon. I don't know what it is, but they look derpy as fuck. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> like I can draw people, no problem. But when I try to draw Pokemon, it doesn't look right. So I don't know if it's the cutesiness or the cartooniness of them versus like the stereotypical anime that I've taught myself to draw in. I don't know what it is, but I have a really difficult time. Um, still life wise, you said drawing things based off real life things. Um, I can do it. I know I can do it well. I don't care for it. And the reason I say that is because it's tedious. It's rewarding at the end, but it's tedious and a lot of work before then. Kind of like printmaking. Love what happens afterward, but that is way too much work to get there. And I need to love what I'm doing or how I'm doing it be in order to keep doing it. If you guys understand that. Um, but yeah, and then your last question was, how do you put this computer together? And you said, D disregard it. I just wanted to say it anyway. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to help build any computers, just for all of you guys to know <laughs> when it comes to putting a computer together. I know you were probably mostly joking or you figured it out, but I just, I go, River, Snuffles, help. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know things. Programs, like recording programs or streaming programs. I'm like, Recreator Fi, Craven, help. <laughs> like, I don't know these things. So, I'm no help there. But this was the Patreon Q&A. Tends to be a little rambly, but I will answer your questions and I will answer them in a lot of depth of, you know, so that way you guys don't feel chipped or anything. I don't want you guys to feel that way because you guys are helping support me and I greatly appreciate that because you guys don't have to. And you know, I always say, I would rather you guys be taking care of yourselves first before taking care of me. But if you guys want to throw money at me, I'm not going to complain. But yeah, that always stands. But thank you guys so much for being Patreon supporters. And thank you guys so much for watching, for all of you that have. Again, links are in the description for Patreon or GameWisp if you guys want to check out any rewards. If you are interested in throwing money at me, <laughs> they are in the description. And you can pick either GameWisp or Patreon, but this is specifically a Patreon reward. It is not a GameWisp one if you are interested in it. Otherwise, check out both links. And I will see you guys in the next game that I play or video that I record. So keep winning, guys. Bye.